Hello, I'm a planning officer. I expect you're yawning already. We have this effect on people. We only have to mention brownfield sites or section 106 agreements and people nod off immediately. So, we have decided on a new strategy to make planning more interesting to you personally. You will soon be receiving a letter telling you someone wants to build a 250 foot wind turbine opposite your house. Ah, now I notice you're taking more interest. You'd like to hear more. You want to know how to stop it happening. Good. Now we've got your attention at last. No chance of you nodding off in the next hour or so then. Now, we have left it to the last minute to send you this letter to make it even more exciting. We could have sent it three months ago when the company first discussed the proposal with us. But the plan had not been submitted, so we didn't want to worry you unnecessarily. We could have sent it to you immediately the planning application was registered in our department. That would have given you the best part of a month to put together objections, to have a meeting in your community and to rally support around the area through posters and media campaigns. But it wouldn't have been anywhere near as much fun and you would not have needed to talk to us as desperately as you do now when you've received your letter a week before our members are making a final decision on the plan. This way, it'll be much more dramatic. A bit like the sort of thing they do on TV, so-called reality shows. We could just picture your faces as you open the letter. Great TV, if only someone would come up with an idea for it. So, now we have your full and undivided attention, and you are not dismissing us as bureaucratic little nerds in dusty old rooms, getting paid out of your council tax for doing nothing. So, what would you like to say to us? You see how immediate the effects of planning can be. I've exaggerated a bit. People at Nostfield End have plenty of time to fight their cause and they have Stansted Airport on their side so they're almost certain to win because air safety trumps just about anything else. But not so residents near Chapel Went Road who will now have a new church nearby which they've objected to. Okay, so claiming that this will increase crime and vandalism in the area would seem quite a difficult argument to sustain. But it is still something big near my house, which is one of the most fundamental fears of any property owner. You do get told in advance, and you do have time to put up a fight, but it's not easy to win it, ask the residents in Hamlet Road. And now the government want to make it easier for big developments, particularly for housing, energy or businesses, to get planning permission. You may no longer have presumption of an entitlement to your current view or your privacy, if that is the way it is going, surely people ought to be compensated in some way. Financially would be simplest. Otherwise it's just daylight robbery. Or robbery of daylight in some cases. And all on the altar of the economy, without any thought for the long-term future. Oh, of course, that's, that's what the planners spend the rest of their time mapping out.